guys, how are we all doing? I hope we're all well out there. It's a lovely spring afternoon, a bit windy, but it's bright and that's all that matters. Now, I wasn't actually supposed to be doing an intro and an outro. I was only supposed to be doing an outro and um, yeah, somebody not so far away uh, was uh, mindlessly deleting some um, stuff on the memory card because it was full without thinking. And I did try and recover the uh, original introduction but it's gone. It, it's not completely use, unusable, but it's pretty close. So lesson one, don't delete randomly. Lesson two, have a decent backup system going. Anyway, what's done is done. I'm here now. So what you're gonna see today in this vlog is not one, but two different items I've made in the last few weeks. Uh, the first is the Merchant and Mills factory dress. You will have all seen my uh, cold, uh, mock up process uh, uh, fabric. Uh, which I now know is crab apple blossom, which is actually one of my favourites, and we are in um, proper blossom season right now. Looks lovely. I've got some cherry trees down my road, and they look lovely. So I'm not going to show too much. Now you'll see a little bit of it sped up, but I'm not going to go not dwell too long on it because, you, like I said, I've got the whole mock-up process, and it is pretty much the same. Uh, just the second piece, a, a vintage shirt, 5322, it's circa 1940. I made the shirt without the hood. Um, and I've gone into a little bit more detail around that. I've got an, um, some behind the camera chat um, and just some more cut the cutting out and the pinning. I like there to be some warm, warm footage as well. Um, so without further ado, I shall get on with the first of the two items. Ciao for now. Hello from behind the camera again, hope you're well. Um, just checking in on the Simplicity 3322 shirt pattern that I'm making here. That one there, or that one there, um, without the head. Um, I've made the mock-up, which you won't see me wearing it because I take no pride in these sorts of mock-ups. Um, it is literally just to see whether or not it will fit me and whether or not I need to do something special in sewing. This is not a pretty thing at all. Kind of glad I did do a mock-up that I did more so. Um, it fits okay. I think you could do this a little bit more space, especially up here, because as you can see, there's quite a lot of kind of bagginess there that then tapers in. You can see a bit more there. And tapers in to kind of give you a bit more shape. Now, I wasn't really getting that, but, you know, we, we are here to kind of work through this. So what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to add an extra, probably even a quarter of an inch. Um, I want to get a little bit more gathering up here. Um, as you can see again in the artist's rendition, it's pretty prominent and it's not at all up here. So I'm going to give myself an extra quarter of an inch. Um, so in between the tucks, so just straight up, cut it, um, shift everything over a quarter of an inch. Um, I'll probably shift the dots back so the tuck marks back to the original position, um, but that should then give me just a little bit more, a little bit more gather up here, 
a little bit more space at the side here and at the back. Sorry, I'm sniffing. Um, I've just been out and it's cold and miserable outside. Now there's a pleat in the back here, which I don't know, it just seems a bit unnecessary. It's like a, it's an odd style choice, but you know, I'm going to pull that down. Maybe, maybe again by a quarter of an inch, um, but that should then give me a little bit more space in the back, just so that again, I'm, I'm not I'm not losing too much space here. But anyway, that's my plans. So hopefully next time you'll see me sewing it and then wearing it. enjoyed that I certainly enjoyed making them and I enjoyed wearing them uh, my thoughts on the uh, crab apple or crab apple dress um, I really like it it's much prettier than the other dress um, still doesn't look the most flattering on me but you know what I have to break my break out this cycle with everything has to be really form-fitted how do I know what looks good on me I don't so I'm gonna keep on going with it um, it's a little snugger than the other dress but I think that's because the cotton is so tightly woven it's not naturally stretchy as the linen. Um, my thoughts on the pattern are it's still really easy to follow. A couple of things I would say um, if you do do that um, mark your darts, mark your darts properly because I didn't um, and I struggled with them they are not the most obvious how long they're supposed to go where they are supposed to end where they're supposed to end up but it's a really nice pattern it's really straightforward a very good one for some beginners um, to get their teeth into if they want to make something a little bit different but still simple 
because um, we've got a little bit of, um, like, like I said in my previous comments, you know, around the collar. Um, uh, although I would say the facing is a bit silly. I, I don't like the facing on it. it with my previous dress, because it was red front and back, there was no difference between the front and back. I didn't bother with putting a facing on, I just tacked down the edges. But because obviously with my blossom one, you could see that there was a back and it didn't look particularly nice. Uh, you need, you do need the facing, but it just didn't seem wide enough or long enough. So now um, the simplicity pattern, again, I really liked it. Pretty simple. Um, shirts, I wouldn't say are necessarily for absolute beginners, but if you're looking to improve your skills, definitely give it a go. Um, the tucks are a bit different to darts. Um, they don't meet at the top, they just go straight down. Um, as I said in the some of the talking I did behind the camera, um, I did need to widen the um, pattern a bit, but I think I knew that anyway, um, just because it was a little, it wasn't getting the right shape, and I think I could probably widen it a bit more. Um, I don't think it's as voluminous at the top as it probably could be. I also need to length it a bit as well. I just like a lot longer um, shirts. I, that's just me personally. The only thing I would say is because I lengthened part of it, I, I think I mucked up on the pleating a bit and I think I should have kept the original length of pleat. I think in the, again in the talk I mentioned about shortening, like length, um, narrowing the pleat um, so I could try and get more space down at the bottom. Um, they didn't quite work out so well. I spent ages and ages trying to get the top bit fitting. Um, so, but that was a mistake on my behalf. It's something nothing I don't think to do with the pattern. Um, so, hmm. but again, I really like the pattern. I'll certainly be making at least one other shirt from it. I like the slacks as well. I am tempted by the um, by the older uh, dungarees, but we'll see. I'm always a bit hesitant with those things, just because I've got such a discrepancy between my bust, waist and hips. But I might give it a go, we'll see. We'll see. I really enjoyed it and I really love the fabric. I love Poplin, Poplin's one of my favourites. It's a nice, crisp, cotton, lightweight, has a little bit of drape, but not too much. Um, really good for shirts, shirt dresses, skirts. I'm still not convinced about trousers. I'm made enough for certain fab, for um, certain styles, and I think it's not f droopy or floopy enough. Um, for the wider, like the slacks or um, beach pajamas or something like that. In conclusion, love both those patterns. I'll certainly be making at least one more shirt. Um, I think shirts are more versatile than dresses for some strange reason. I don't know why. Um, but I think yeah, I think I'll maybe make one of those um, dresses. I think those actually those dresses would make a really nice patchwork if you've got the patience. I don't have the patience, but if you do have the patience, that'll be interesting. And if you fancy making one, you get yourself a copy of the pattern. Let me know. Put a little comment down below. Just let me know how you get on with it. And um, if you make it with any patchwork fabric or what other fabrics you've got. Yeah, very nice. Um, also, if you like, share, subscribe. It's always really helpful. Now, all that remains for me to say is, you've been watching the Crazy Cat Lady Productions. This has been an unoriginal idea. Can I say it that way? Yes. And again, <laughs> I'll keep that in. This has been a crazy cat lady production, so you've been watching an unoriginal idea. Thank you very much, guys, and take care. Bye bye.